Honey, look at this. Uh, you, babe, tell her, there, there's no way I'm going to sign anything that allows anyone to use my name in a book. And that I haven't even read, by the way. Well, as far as you are concerned, technically it's a moot point because you are a public figure. So anyone can pretty much write anything they want to about you. This was just a courtesy on behalf of the publisher. Sonny, however, is a different case. Get my name and Brenda's name out of that book immediately. I don't care how do you do it. I'm going to deal with the rest of it in the morning. Yes, you certainly may. Okay. With a new attorney. Oh, see that? Here we go. What are you going to do, quit? Sign, or I will quit. You can't quit, because I'm your best client. What you are is a lot of trouble. I pay you a fortune. I've kept you in designer shoes for years. You know that. And you I love have those kept shoes. you and Jason out of jail ever since the day we met. Okay. Aside from the debacle of Michael accidentally killing Claudia, which was an unmitigated disaster all around, I have kept you and yours well out of the reach of the criminal justice system. And I put up with your mood swings, and I put up with your constant interference in my personal life. Well, I don't want you and Max finding you guys fooling around, okay? That's, that's reasonable. Last chance, Sonny. Sign it, or I walk. Well, the prospect of signing books... <laughs> No? Why? Um, no. I'd like a real drink. Oh, vodka? Sure. Uh, straight up. No roofies. <laughs> that would be your specialty, not mine. Mm, I hated having to go to such extremes. <sighs> I do miss the blackmail, though, because it was, it was a bit of a rush. Oh, that's over now. The syringe. Ancient history. Cheers to that. Cheers. Secretly, I thought your little treasure hunt was hilarious. Except for the part where I almost got fired. <laughs> I knew you'd make out okay. You are quite resourceful. Thank you. You know, it's nice that you're putting yourself out there for Christina. The kid's been through a lot. Mm, she's under a ridiculous amount of pressure. Didn't realize you knew her so well. I don't, really. I just ran into her in the hospital a little while ago, and she was upset after one of her appointments with her shrink. It really is how being on the waiting list for college. Same thing happened to me with Johns Hopkins a few years ago. <laughs> <laughs> it was awful. Well, thankfully, I know nothing about that world. Yeah. <laughs> wow, would you like another? No. Are you sure about that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it's good. You're not thinking about Patrick. You're the one who keeps bringing him up. Okay, true. Guilty. <laughs> All right, so how about this? The next person that does mm -hmm. pays for dinner. Okay, but what if neither one of us brings him up? Uh, then I charge it to one of my companies. You want her out? I'm in. I'd like to start this night over. So would I. Mm, that's not annoying. Timing. <clears throat> You got a minute? Do I need a lawyer? Well, that all depends. What do you know about Abby Haver's ex-boyfriend? I don't. Uh, Brandon Lowell was found murdered in the parking lot of your strip club. Bonds is a pretty tough place. Things happen. You should be talking to the manager. What can you tell me about Brandon Lowell? I should uh, probably leave so you can discuss this privately. How well did you know Brandon Lowell? I didn't. Really, really? No dealings, mm. business, need to know your money, nothing Look, like detective, that? detective, I understand you're trying to protect your younger brother, and that's great. That's what family's for. After all, you're here in my house questioning me about it. You probably think he flipped out and shot the guy himself? Actually, no. Brandon was shot twice in the head. That's more your style. <laughs> okay, so if you're insinuating that I shot the guy at my own club and left him to die in my parking lot, you're clueless. It's insulting. You gotta leave. Are you? Well, I'm just trying to figure out what happened. Maybe you should focus a little less on the truth and a little more on protecting your brother. Well, I think that was a good first session for us. Yeah, so do I. I, um, I like the therapist. You did? Yeah. You certainly talked a lot. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Is that okay? Of course, of course it's okay. I meant it as a compliment. You were just less tense than I was. Which is ironic. I, uh, I figured it'd be the other way around. I was babbling like a fool and you were <laughs> controlled, as usual. Sorry, I don't know why I make things so difficult. It's like I let my worst fears come true. I, I, don't, think, I don't think that's what's happening. I think we're both doing really well. I think we're ready to take a very important step. 
You want to walk away from me over a stupid book? Go ahead. Fine. I will walk away from you, and I would advise you to review the non-compete clause in our contract. You can't fire me and hire... I'm Alexis. not firing you. You're quitting. Well, I wouldn't quit if you would simply sign the release. But no, of course you don't want to. It's your universe. You have to have everything your own way. So enjoy <laughs> your new life and break Spinelli's heart. Oh, wait. Why would this break Spinelli's oh, heart? I'm sorry. You're not interested in the details, mm -hmm. either of you. You've made that abundantly clear. Is this, is this release for Spinelli's book? It's my book. It's our book. I collaborate. I, I got it. I got it. Secret where, life. Where do, I, where do I sign? Wait a minute. You haven't even read Pen. the book. Wait, Where's why? The pen? What, are you, what, are you, what are you? I'm just saying. You know, I like Spinelli a lot, and you know, I feel like I owe him. Well, you're making a big mistake. Well, I'm sure it's harmless. I can assure you, there are no secrets revealed, no incriminating evidence. And Spinelli's so sweet. I mean, you know, he'll be devastated if we don't sign it. And you know he would never do anything to deliberately upset either one of us. So just sign it. Get, show him where to sign. Babe, sign it. Oh, God. This is like, uh, I don't know. No, we are right. Whatever. No. Truly. Truly. Was that so difficult? All right, I... I am late for a book signing at Froman's. Please, both of you, feel free to drop by. Excelsior! Does anyone else know that you have a gun? Sweetheart, love of my life. Yeah. That's the time it is. Oh. It's thank you card time. Yeah, you can put that right here. Can I ask you a question? What? I never understood why you like Spinelli so much. Because he's a sweet guy. Do the card. You don't think he talks like he's from outer space? Yes, I think he does that when he's nervous. Can so you... he's always he's he's always nervous. <laughs> That's not funny. That's no. not funny. That's not nice. No, I just think that you know he's he's a nice kid and he's special. You know, I don't know why everybody thinks that you know everyone's supposed to be a tough guy. Well, you got a problem with tough guys. Mm. I love tough guys. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Can we help That's you? That's because you're prejudiced. That's correct. So, can, can I ask you another question, and, um, would, would you have loved me more, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. If I was in a different line of work? You know what, let's not even get into that conversation, because you're not, and I have made peace with that. So have I, yeah, for myself and not for my kids. You know, as you know, I, 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 I want Michael to have a better life than I did. Mm. And sometimes I think that I, because I kept him so close to me, it wasn't the greatest thing, you know. But I don't want to do what Jason did with Jake either. And you would never give up your child. What if I wanted a real dinner tonight? With real wine, real candles, real wait staff. Me and you, real dinner. That sounds wonderful. Yeah? Yeah. What, what about that new place on Hudson? It's gotten great reviews. It's a little late. You think we can get a table? Oh, you know what? I told Stephanie that she could get off early tonight. She wants to meet some friends in the city, you know, one of those clubs that doesn't even open till midnight. <laughs> yeah, I know one of those clubs. Oh, well. Call the restaurant, tell them we're on our way. I have an idea. Christina? Yeah, hey. Do you hey. remember when you told us you'd babysit for us? How about tonight? I'd be happy to. Yeah, I have my car and I can just drive us there. Oh, thank you. Yes, you can um, follow us home and Emma will be sleeping already. Oh, well, if she wakes up, I can always read to her from my six book. <laughs> that will put anyone to sleep. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. And guys, stay out as late as you want. Emma and I will be just like, oh, thank you. Dante's right. I mean, that was a. Yeah, she's sleeping. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, um, someone's at the door. I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Hi. <laughs> hey. Hey. Why did the police get you trying to help? But what, what exactly could you do? I can talk to the girls and the staff, make sure everybody's on the same page about what they saw or didn't see. I can talk to any witnesses that were on my property, take care of them, too. If there's anything you guys need said or not said, consider it done. Okay, why are you being so helpful? I'm going to be honest with you guys, I feel partly responsible for what happened. Have I told you how much I love my new family? 
All of them. And guess what? What? Summertime. Speedboat. Speedboat? <laughs> Babe, I love your speedboat. Uh, you know yeah, that, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh wait, maybe it's Spinelli. Don't terrorize your house. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. What's that? Brenda. Say hello to your son. <laughs>